Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today is gonna to be a funny topic because I was talking to an American friend and we were sharing stories about funny things that Americans say to us when we go back to the States about New Zealand, whether it's a question or a comment. So I'm gonna go through some of those with you today. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. I moved my family of six from the US to New Zealand, have been living here for six years and are sharing the journey with you. If you're interested in finding out more, check out my website, KiwiAmericans.com. I offer consulting if you're moving here. Um, I also am working on a training hub to help you learn anything and everything you need to know about living and moving and traveling around New Zealand. And that's coming up soon, but you're are not going to want to miss the episode today. It's going to be funny. And these are all actually true. The number one, number one comment or question that I get when I head back to the States is, how is Australia? I'm sure you're glad to be back. How was down under? How was Aussie? And they try their best Aussie accent. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Not so good. And you know, you correct them for a while. And sometimes, and this is actually true guys. Sometimes I say, I actually live in New Zealand and they look at me with a completely blank face like, is that a different place? Is that just part of Australia? I'm not joking you. These are the comments that I get. I get, it, I get asked, how is Australia? Let me correct that. They're not asking me how Australia is. Nobody cares. When you go back to the States, nobody cares about your experience in another country. That's a little bit shocking. That's probably a story for another day. <laughs> but they don't ask you. They just say, oh, you're back from Australia. Oh, it's the Aussie. And then they just talk about whatever they know about Australia, which is nothing. <laughs> and so, yeah, you have to put up with a lot of that to the point where I literally do not correct them after a while. It gets so many times, so many people that it's like, if you're just not even going to bother knowing anything at all about me, certainly don't watch my YouTube channel, <laughs> then I'm not even going to bother correcting you. Number two, the thing I get asked the most when I go back to the U.S. is, do they speak English? This is what they ask me in all different forms. Like, how long did it take you to pick up the language? Uh, is it hard for you to be in a country where they speak a different language? Yeah, this is very, very common. And when I talk to other Americans that live here, they say the same thing. Everybody always asks them, number one question for them is, you know, do they, do they speak English there? Is it hard to live in a country with, that doesn't speak English? Now, I'm not trying to be difficult or, you know, critical of people that ask these questions, but we don't live in a world where the World Book Encyclopedia was where you got your information. We literally have a device in our pockets. We could go, what language do they speak in New Zealand? And find out in one second. And so this is why it's just like, it's amazing to me. It's really amazing to me when it's people that are in your family or close friends, right? Who haven't taken one second to Google anything about New Zealand and just assume a lot of things that aren't true. And so it's just very, very interesting. Cause I remember when I was growing up, we studied Australia a lot. And so I can kind of see where all of this is coming from. <laughs> But we never studied New Zealand. I mean, certain people know it. I would say um, I get asked a lot about it in certain groups, but not in others. And it's just very interesting that people just put the two together. I mean, you can understand it's in a totally opposite part of the world. And New Zealand is very small in fairness, but like, like to just have no idea about anything when it's somebody that you know you're close to and you've spent like years and years of your life somewhere i don't know i just feel like it's one second it's a hey siri what language do they speak in new zealand the third funny question that i get asked is do they live in huts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've been asked this question do they live in huts yeah so we are an island where we're made up of many islands, but okay. Um, and again, I just go back to the, you know, you're 
if you're part of my extended family and you haven't taken one, two seconds to just Google a little bit about where your family has moved, I don't know, <laughs> live in huts. No, we don't live in huts. And so, oh, you have houses. Oh, like what kind of houses? Do they drive cars? I mean, I'm serious. These are the questions I get. The fourth most <laughs> shocking question that I get all the time is, do they have churches there? Do they have churches? Like they're like we're some sort of like tribe, tribal group living somewhere that doesn't have church. You know, I don't know. It's just it's always interesting to me that they're like, do they have churches? Are you allowed to go to church? Like I don't know. I don't know what mindset people are in that they're asking that sort of question. But I always find that very interesting. And so yeah, yes, there's churches. There's lots of churches and lots of different denominations. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed and had a couple giggles out of that. And it's kind of funny. I am going back to the States in June and July. And so I am excited to see what kind of questions I get. So I will do a part two on that. But those are all that I can remember right now because I want to be legit. Like these are legit questions that have been asked of me. Uh, and I'm going to collect more, I'm sure, or not. Hopefully people are a little bit more familiar. But if you've been back to the States or you've lived in a foreign country and went back home, what were some of the funny comments that you got from friends and family or questions that you were like, huh, mm -hmm. not sure where you're getting that from. I would love to hear it. So you guys have a great week and I will see you next week.